welcome everybody so we'll just go through how to create the bending metal for a car they come up with this uh, setup from after watching a lot of YouTube tutorial which is very informative and well, very educative and I went through a lot of so as you can see we have some bending metal here I make the body to be affected by the bending the glass the wheels they are not affected by the bending to make it even acceptable okay so this is the setup just make it manual so we have the car transform it and to update where is the car where is the car I removed unnecessary attribute I added I removed the groups cleaned it up then I make a split so I have only the body as you can see here now I added the name attribute as a primitive for the, for the car then I will reduce it so I have uh, less geometry 100,000 plus down to 6,000 added another clean little bit add extrusion so it can be accepted by the solver but I change my mind and I make a VDB for it and this VDB I convert it back to polygon and I will reduce it and I copy back the name and the path and make it as a group this part is the rest of the car I split it again I took the glasses this is the glass I added attribute for it making it naming it glass little bit of a cleaning and extrusion because it's only one phase and I merge it third one is the remaining pieces which I don't want to fracture so I split it back again will reduce it and giving it sorry name attribute name attribute is very important and I simply created a name back print create name attribute I should keep the same yeah this is for testing only and all added up here so this is the car I went through Vranoi fracture by the scatter only for the car body or anything that have this name attribute then I fracture again the glass so this is the glass fracture only glass the group I give it a rule to connect only the glass pieces to each other so it's a glue with very weak strength RBD connected faces for the glass so before the fracture it will be looking like one piece because the shared edges will be deleted and after it is separated by distance it will be disconnected Now I'm connecting the car body Hello, so as you can see this is the dark one Ignoring the glass and the other parts and Give it high strength And next constraint is soft With damping ratio of 100 so it will uh, lose energy very quick Then I connect it in between 
the small bars, the wheels and the glass with the car body. So it's all joined together. I give it some velocity, minus five, so it will hit the ground hard. <coughs> and here I have a switch, which is a winch of next with four argument. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here we have 1, 2, 3, sorry, have 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this one is using that attribute. So it will uh, which accordingly. So this is the collision part. 0, 1, it's disconnected. 0, one. These are the parts. Here, in the constraint, nothing here. In the breaking threshold of the soft at distance of one. So it was working fine. Then I imported each one, each one with its own color. So it's here. I, this is the constraint. Here I'm blasting uh, everything except the car body, which I run it through RBD deforming means. So I can have the metal according to the cluster attribute of bath. I use bath. Okay. So any bending it will be carried out because the, the geometry is the one at the top that we start with. This one, unfractured piece. So it will follow the fractured pieces. Here is the, for the class, the RBD disconnection of the faces, and I choose to delete the connected faces. This is the mode, so it will break when it's uh, far distance of this distance threshold. Merging everything back together, and backing it, and start to give it each uh, uh, pieces of these different color for the car. So you can see the different look. So this is how it looks. Glass material, some basic red shift material here also. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.